I really like lesson 19. And I hope the students like it too. It can be tricky. Okay, but they're asking the students to compare three things. Equations, tables, and graphs. Brian, Shanice, and Evelyn are all training for a bike race and want to compare who rides his or her bike at a faster rate. The bikers use apps on their phones to record the time and distance of their bike rides. Brian's app keeps track of his route on a table, and Shanice's app presents the information on a graph. The information is shown below. Evelyn's app gave her an equation. H times 20 equals M miles. Who is the faster rider? My advice to the students is to scale down to the unit rate to find out how much it is per one. So now um, you're going to want to really find out in this per this part how much it is for one mile. And the students have been scaling down with their table, so they should know. Three divided by three gets you down to one. So now we're going to have to do 75 divided by three, because whatever you do to the top of your ratio table, you must do to the bottom. In one hour, Brian can ride 25 miles. Okay, that was pretty easy. Now at your table, this is pretty simple to find one hour because it's already cut into hours for you. So you go over to one hour and up the scale. It looks like it's halfway between 10 and 20 for the miles axis. So I'm going to say that in one hour, Shanice can bike 15 miles. And now for, I think, the hardest of them for the students, which I hope I can make it easy, Evelyn's. She has an equation. H hours times 20 equals M miles. Well, we're, this is down to one hour. This is down to one hour, so we're going to sub one in for the hour. One times 20 is 20 miles. So one hour for Evelyn equals 20 miles. So if I compare all of them now, because they all have the unit rate, okay? Brian travels 25 miles in an hour. Shanice travels 15 miles in an hour, and Evelyn does um, 20 miles in an hour. So Brian is the fastest biker because he travels the most miles in one hour. I hope this helped uh, you see how we're comparing tables, graphs, and equations in lesson 19.